You've heard the proverb, the early bird gets the worm, right? I'd like to believe that anyone can become a morning person. And I know it won't happen overnight, and I know that it can sometimes mean setting up some new habits, but the good thing about it is that you can do it your own way and at your own pace. Now, I'm somebody who actually used to despise mornings, and I think it's because I had my fair share of waking up at 5 a.m. to go to school, sometimes commuting two hours in each direction. It was pretty dreadful until I learned to fall in love with the process. So in this video, I wanna share with you some tips on how I became a morning person in hopes that you might find something helpful in it all. I always knew I needed to get more sleep because we hear that all the time, but I was a night owl, so I just didn't do it. And then one day I read this paper that was published that had said that a moderately sleep deprived body can act similarly to an intoxicated one. And that's when I realized I needed to change up my routine. So instead of relying on willpower to help me get to bed sooner, I did what I often do, which was to identify my why power. And I did this in three words, which was wanting mornings that were gonna be more peaceful, nourishing, and productive. It was this change in mindset that helped me catch a little bit of extra sleep each night. A quote I love is by Benjamin Franklin when he said, early to bed and early to rise makes a person healthy, wealthy, and wise. But shifting my bedtime back by two or three hours felt like too drastic a transition. If you've been following pickup lines, then you know my philosophy. Take it slow and steady. So I found it really helpful to move the time I slept and the time I woke up by just 15 minute increments every few days, making the change gradual so my body could adjust. Avoiding and eventually disabling the snooze option was not easy at first, but so worth it in the end. Because you know what they say, you snooze, you lose. I found two things really helped putting my phone across the room and changing my alarm. I changed the more startling beeping alarm to a pleasant tune I actually wanted to wake up to. Right now it's set to the pleasant and peaceful piano music of Ludovico Anaudi. I let the song continue to play as I sit up and enjoy a light stretch before I get out of bed to go across the room, turn off the alarm and get the day started. I feel the start of my day sets the stage for how the rest of my day will be. And if you remember, I mentioned that I wanted mornings that were peaceful, nourishing, and productive. And one thing that I've been using for a very long time to help to fuel this feeling of productivity in the mornings is audiobooks, which is why I'm very thankful to Audible for having sponsored this video. Now, in the past, I mentioned that I listen to audiobooks often in the morning when I'm exercising, but if I've chosen to skip exercise on a particular morning, then I'll just set it to play while I'm getting my tea or breakfast ready. I'm currently re-listening to a very motivational book titled The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy. I originally listened to it about two years ago on my bike and bus rides to work. It made my commute an escape to look forward to. Listening to this book just 30 minutes in each direction meant that I was done the book in under a week. And this is why I've been using Audible for years. They make getting books into my life so much more tangible. If you too feel this could add value to your mornings or to your commute, then visit audible.com forward slash pickup limes or see the link in the description below to get an exclusive 30 day free trial. Plus you'll get a book of your choice for free. And because so many of you have asked about what my book recommendations are, I've created a list of the motivational and productive ones for you on the pickup limes website. So I'll leave that link for you below as well. I feel there is no better way to express some self-love than by enjoying a nourishing meal. I'm convinced one reason I go to sleep so easily is that it's a time machine to breakfast. Now to save time, you can always put together part of your breakfast ahead of time, like batch making granola on the weekends for quick parfaits or cereal bowls, soaking steel cut oats the night before for a quick porridge that cooks while you get ready, or freezing some fruits or maybe veggies to make quick and wholesome smoothie bowls topped with nuts, seeds, granola, and more fresh fruit. It doesn't need to be complicated or time consuming, just nourishing and something you enjoy so much it's worth waking up for. I reserve some time in the morning for me, a little gift to myself when the world is still quiet and peaceful. I also like to think of it as a bonus for the extra nine minutes I gained for not pressing the snooze button earlier. This is when I like to enjoy my cup of tea or take a stretch or maybe review my intentions that were set the night before or read an inspiring blog post or post some pictures to my Pinterest vision boards to keep me visualizing my goals. Nourishing yourself with just a few minutes of feel good activities is sure to turn any skeptic into a morning person. 
Now let's fast forward a bit and pay some attention to the critical roles that evenings play in setting us up to become morning people. Now the evening before, I like to take just five minutes to set some intentions for the next day. Somehow, knowing what I'm gonna be looking forward to helps set me up for an early rise and ensures a more productive morning and rest of the day. I've noticed that when I skip this, I more easily surrender to the allure of the bed as a way to avoid having to figure out what I need to do or what needs to get done. And one thing I also make sure to include in this list of intentions is something I'm genuinely looking forward to. It can be photographing a recipe for the vlog, sharing a video on Instagram, or watching the season finale of my favorite TV show in the evening. This is all to make the idea of the next day so exciting, it'll make me want to get out of bed in the morning. I also like to set myself up to hit the ground running. For example, getting my clothes ready the night before and setting them out to eliminate decision fatigue when I might be feeling groggy in the morning. I'll also try to prepare anything I can to make the morning feel more peaceful and less rushed, like packing up leftover dinner to enjoy for lunch, maybe prepping some breakfast ingredients as I mentioned before, or filling that kettle with water so all I have to do is give it a flick come morning. And now we repeat. My routine comes so naturally to me at this point, I hardly have to give it any thought. I find if my routine stays generally the same, I look forward to waking up that much more, simply because I know what to expect. I know it's my time, a time that consists of practices that energize and inspire me. A routine that helps me ensure my mornings are peaceful, nourishing, and productive. And now I hope it goes without saying, I would never expect you to do all these things. This was just a summary of how I've come to love being a morning person. The question is, what routine do you feel would help to set you up for an early rise? I've gone ahead and created a little PDF to help get you started on creating a routine that works best for you, so you too can start loving the mornings just a little bit more. Now I'm curious to know, are you an early bird or a night owl? Or like me, have you transitioned from one to the other? And do you have any tips or recommendations of your own to share? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you found this video helpful in any way, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It always helps to support the channel when you do. All right, thanks a lot for watching. Wishing you wonderful mornings to come and we'll see you next week.